Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Again, we're with the rescue case on tooth number nine. It's a Zimmer, I should say an old core vent. Uh, we do have the screw now uh, apparent out of the uh, osseous site. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of uh, wax and we can just take that right out and keep that that's our that's a screw that was actually f within the fixture itself so now we got to just basically control the site uh, we've got the screw out controlling the site with any contaminants so first things first I'm gonna go in with cavity cleanser and then um, try to control the coagulum as best as I can so that's our next step so let's just uh, go through the the events here if we can identify any calculus uh, any deposits within the threads and sometimes if a case has been loose or fractured we'll also find some of the threads are somewhat uh, sometimes marred um, very very small amounts but they're noticeable and really nothing you can do about that except get them all very clean and pristine for uh, re-screwing in. So go ahead and suction that again. So we're going to do micro brush and TNS which is the tartar and stain next. Let's see what comes up out of those. Can I focus here please? Focus. Out. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's next. Right now we have a two-ply cord from ginger pack surrounding the site so we're keeping that tissue out of the way how we doing okay all right suction in there again okay that's good now let's move on to a uh, smaller suction and try to keep the coagulum under control I'll just stay right there I'm just gonna put a small amount in there we go. Let's just see if anything bubbles up from that. Alright, you okay? Alright, let's zoom in. And um, basically if there is any tartar in there, uh, we might be able to see it. So any bubbles coming up. I don't really see any any bubbles. So we just verify that is T S tartar and stain correct on that? Yeah, okay. So right now some debris in there. We'll, we're going to go in with uh, very small micro brushes, so we'll suction that out. And let me do that. Here we go. Even the suctioning, you know, this is a metal tip, so you got to be careful. You don't want to go in on the side. You want to go right down the middle, like so. There we go. So anything that's in there comes out. Anything even inside of the hex itself. The little grooves, the little sharp radius of the hex angles themselves have to be cleaned. Yeah, just a little, a little bit. I'll do it. Again, we're back at that site again. So a lot of this just clean up, back and forth clean up. So we're going to pick this up on the next uh, clip after we've done that and ready to fit it. Uh, again, I'm just pre-soak this harder and stain. I'm going to just go in and just do a little rotation inside, scrubbing the inside of the fixture, controlling it. You feeling that at all? No? Okay. Anything burning at all? Okay. Okay, so then we'll just take a look at that. Obviously discolored. We'll rinse it out. Actually, we'll suction it out and we'll do a final rinse. Uh, ready for trying. I'm going to back off the magnification. And just go straight in. Right, the power of the microscope, we are right about three and a half now. We'll take it up to eight and twelve and a half power. Alright, we'll do one more scrub again. Threads look clean. That's good news. 
So the object of the game is to get a positive seat. All right. Now cavity cleanser. We'll dip that. You can see some of this tissue starting to collapse a little bit now. So we're gonna kind of march along here. All set. Let's pre-dip that in a uh, microbrush. Take a microbrush next. Microbrush next. I got it in there. Okay, so. Yeah. Might have some of the blue ready. Blue anticoagulum ready. Okay, all set to rinse that. Oh, good. Suction else micro. Perfect. Now let's zoom in. Okay. I'm going to just take a small explorer because I just want to be sure there's nothing lying around. I'm not going to go in the threads. I just want to make sure there's nothing caked into the uh, hex itself. I'm just going to gently, not to score it. Oh, see, there's some debris right there. Double checking my tip. I'm going to go to new tip. As I saw some debris come up, I want to just make sure I'm. Yep. All right, here we go. Perfect. That's looking real good. I can see the whole bar margin margins of the uh, fixture itself. Unimpeded. Perfect. Okay. Looking for a serial number. I uh, can't see. I uh, usually, I think now they, they probably popped the number down on the, the base of the implant. But I think back then they were all so into design. You knew it was a certain design, a certain type of implant. I'm just verifying that we got nothing on the corners. Good. Perfect. Okay, so at this point we're ready to try in. Again, we don't want to trap anything underneath, so we know we've got that labial to retract lightly. Uh, let's do this first. Before we do anything, we see that there's a piece right here. I'll go with the blue. All right, so we're going to control the bleeding a little bit more. We'll use this blue material. And uh, apply that to the rim. All right, and we'll drape that up here. Kind of headed off at the path, so to speak. Let's do this. Let's let's vacuum it away without rinsing it. So large suction tip again. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Good. That's good. Cavity cleanser. Suction that thoroughly. Getting the cleansing action of the cavity cleanser. Okay. 
I'm going to test things out, so let me know if you feel this at all. Is that okay? Okay. We good? Feeling a little. Okay. Microsuction. You good? Okay. I'm gonna go there. If you feel any pressure while I'm inserting, let me know, and we'll numb you some more. Just the lip retraction only, not the cord and the lip. Just the lip. Okay. Driver. I'm just going to back down out and just retract only. Okay. You okay? So we're seating it now. Make sure we have a positive seat. is engaged. There's just a slight little space in between his anteriors. And I gotta ask Les, was there a slight space between your two front teeth? Very slight? Okay, so I'm going to show you that space so that you can see it. Um, I just didn't know because it looks like uh, everything is lining up properly. I am going to check the distal with some floss. I haven't tightened it down, down all the way yet, but uh, we're getting there. So I um, need to do that next. So again, thin floss, right. No good. I might need some finishing strips uh, next, so I'm going to hand tighten it again a little bit. You okay? Uh -huh. oh, that's bottoming out. Very good. Let's floss again. Transfer floss. Okay. Perfect. Just comparing contacts here. Okay. So the rest is, is pretty straightforward. I'm uh, going to work with you on positioning, you know, in this little area in between. If it's something, I mean, you can always have that area closed, but I think they probably did that uh, for a reason, so... We'll pick this up again. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're going to have just a little discussion with my patient. I'll be right back uh, pick up the end of this.